Hello, my friends. Someone asked me once if I can imagine how it is to be a king. Well, I can today, because today we have an item that belonged to a king. Welcome to the Antiques Hunter Show, here at the Antique Storehouse in Portsmouth Historic Dockyard. Today we'll speak about Louis XV, King of France, between 1715 and 1774. You may... Uh, know about Louis XIV because of Alexandre Dumas and the stories with the Musketeers and the Louis, the, Louis the XVI because of the French Revolution and he was beheaded by the revolutionaries. But Louis XV is in a way neglected by the historians even if he is a very important figure because in 1748 for example after a war with Austria he gave uh, back the south of Belgium to the Austrians and that reshaped the, the Belgian territory for quite a long time but most one of the most important things that happened during his reign was that after a seven years war with Spain and Great Britain he lost the west of Canada to uh, uh, those two countries and that meant a new era for for Canada really also one of the uh, the other important things is that actually he got uh, Lorraine and Corsica for France and we know who was born in Corsica Napoleon so due to the fact that actually this king got Corsica into the uh, uh, French um, uh, Empire Napoleon was able to get the French uh, the citizenship and eventually he was the Emperor of France also Louis the 15th uh, is known because during his reign France uh, was weakened by wars and uh, 15 years after his death the French monarch monarchy disappears for quite a long time but today I'll show you something from the glorious times of the Bourbon dynasty this is Louis XV, one of the, uh, uh, the hunting rifles of Louis XV. It is an exquisite weapon made, made by a gentleman called Jean-Baptiste Laroche. And he was Arquebusier de Roi, which means he was the main manufacturer for royal weapons. Uh, he actually was the best manufacturer of his time, being the uh, head of the uh, gun makers uh, guild in Paris between 1740 and 1742 and actually in 1743 the king ordered him to move to Louvre and he moved to the Louvre palace and from then to his death he only built weapons for the royal family and most of his weapons ended up in wonderful collections um, as gifts from the kings of France um, in pretty much all, uh, all Europe. George III of Great Britain had a weapon from him and uh, King Charles X of France, a later king, had a, a rifle from him. This rifle is exquisite. It is gold and silver everywhere. Engravings is something absolutely unique. It's a flintlock with, with two pans, so basically it's a double shotgun Flintlock. You can see the amount of the decorations here is just this is gold people. So this is gold and you have gold here on the barrel. The <clears throat> barrels are blued and the manufacturer's name is marked here. I'll just show it the other way around so you can see. Um, so this it's a an absolute beauty. One of the most beautiful firearms I've ever seen. Here you have the, the royal crest and it is on the both, both sides <coughs> and also on the plate, the butt plate of the weapon. So <coughs> this is an absolute beauty, a silver cartouche there and by the way it's fully functional and it costs about 20,000 um, pounds. This exquisite type of design <coughs> is but if you want uh, part of the that belle époque of Louis the Fifteenth, because during the <clears throat> reign of Louis the Fifteenth, there was a lady which was one of his mistresses was called Madame de Pompadour, and you probably heard of her. And Madame de Pompadour encouraged arts and design and 
because of her, we started to, uh, and well, humanity started to enter a new era in design and art and fashion. And this rifle is, if you want, um, part of that trend and of those decorations that started to appear. And it is one of a unique item. Uh, I do think that this rifle was eventually given as a gift to one of the king's um, uh, family members, uh, which was uh, the abbey of a, a monastery in, in France, uh, because there's a later <coughs> etching at the back here with the um, monastery's initials, and it is very, it's uh, uh, Saint Clair Monastery, so it's very possible that this was eventually, ended up eventually as a present. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked this episode, and uh, share, and please uh, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.